This section is about writing differential equations and verifying the solutions to differential equations. Um, the first objective is that you can interpret verbal statements of problems as differential equations involving a derivative expression. And the second objective is that you can verify solutions to differential equations. So first, what's a differential equation? Um, a differential equation is an equation with a derivative in it. Um, and so these are all examples of differential equations. Um, so writing from words, here's an example of one where we would write from words. The rate of change of money in your savings account over time is directly proportional to the amount of money in your account. So we would say the rate of change of money. So the money amount is A. So the rate of change over time. So that's the rate of change of money over time is directly proportional. So that means we're going to have some constant of proportionality times the amount of money in the account. So that's going to be A. So remember, directly and inversely proportional. Directly proportional means that there's some constant times the amount, and inversely proportional means that it would be some constant divided by the amount. Um, and so that kind of means the richer you are, the more your savings account will grow. All right. On a straight road in North Dakota, the rate of change in my position X was 63 miles per hour. So according to the units, it looks like um, we are using um, change in position over change in time, because we've got miles per hour. And so then the change in position over time was 63 miles per hour. That's it. My differential equation is just 63. Um, so uh, that straight road in North Dakota is very boring. I just have my cruise control set to 63 and I just ride with it. All right. Last example of these. The rate of change of the intensity of a response R with respect to the intensity of a stimulus S is inversely proportional to the intensity of the stimulus. So this time our differential equation is going to be the rate of change of R with respect to the rate of change of S. So it says the rate of change of the intensity of a response with, the, with respect to the intensity of a stimulus is inversely proportional so that means it's going to be a constant divided by the intensity of the stimulus. That was S. Okay, so what that means is like if you're in a, um, if you're in a very quiet room, then you're going to be more reactive to a sound. If you're in a loud room, the sound has to be um, more intense in order to elicit that same reaction. Right. Um, so that's writing equations. And then the other thing you have to do in this section is verify the solutions to a differential equation. So your um, solution is an equation, not a differential equation, but an equation with y in it and x that makes the differential equations true. So here's an example. Our differential equation is dy dx is equal to negative y. And we're going to verify that y equals sine of x is a solution. So the way we'll do that is get rid of our writing from our last slide and say, well, we want to know what dy dx is. So let's go ahead and take dy dx of sine of x. Oh, you know what? I wrote this wrong. <laughs> Sorry. I meant to write it like this. I will fix it on the note sheet, but I can't fix it for this video. So our first derivative would be cosine of x. And then our second derivative would be negative sine of x. And we know that 
y and sine of x are equal to each other. So another way of writing this differential equation would be that the second derivative is equal to negative sine of x. And that's also what we got when we took the second derivative. So these are equal. So yes, our um, second derivative equal to negative y is a solution to that differential equation. So it's really just kind of manipulating either taking derivatives or um, solving for x or solving for y in order to figure out the solution. All right, so we have a differential equation, dy dx is equal to 3y, and we're trying to verify that one of these is the solution. So we're going to start with, let's just start with the first one. y is equal to um, 3 halves x squared. If I take the derivative of that, dy dx is equal to 3 over 2 times 2x, and so dy dx is equal to 3x. And we're trying to verify that dy dx is equal to 3y, and x is not equal to y in this sitting situation. So this one is not the correct answer. It's not that one. So let's try the next one. So if I take the derivative of both sides of this equation, and this will be implicit, I get 1 over y times dy dx, because of the chain rule, is equal to 3 and then I multiply by y, and I get dy dx is equal to 3y. Ah, that's what I wanted. So this one is the one that works. We like this one. Let's just complete our job and check the last one. If I take the derivative of both sides of this equation, I get dy dx is equal to 3 times e to the x. So that tells me that dy dx for this equation is really equal to y. Not 3y, but y. All right, um, so this is the first lesson in chapter seven. I hope that there is time for you to just go ahead and do the first assignment in chapter seven so that you can be done and not feel behind this chapter. Thanks so much, bye.